Hi guys, my name is Gerald from Trading Waves. Uh, welcome to today's short video. And today's short video, we take a look at um, one of the instruments which we list and analyze. Without any further ado, there's the instrument, and that's the dollar index on the one hourly time frame on your screen. Right, so there's a sequence which is impulsive from the bottom left of the screen upwards. And if one was to look at the cycles within that swing up to that peak there, we see three in yellow, four in yellow, and five in yellow, completing three in blue. And we have here four in blue. Now, here's what we were anticipating in line with one of our strategies, that within four in blue, we would have a one, two, three W, a one, two, three X, and a one, two, three Y as a double zigzag. Right, <clears throat> as a double zigzag that would complete wave four. But we expected that wave four centennials would reach this blue box, right? Where we were ready to buy once it reached the blue box. But now, what happened was this leg fell short of the blue box area. It didn't even come to kiss the top part of the blue box area. And instead, price reversed just short of the blue box, and it went in the direction, right? It's going in the direction we're anticipating, which is the direction that we had always anticipated after we four had completed. Though it didn't reach the blue box, it's going the right direction. But now what do we do? One of our strategies was not uh, satisfied in terms of the requirements that we buy when it reaches this level, that wasn't satisfied. What do we do now? Do we just let price continue higher? Or do we find a way to enter now that we know that it has completed its uh, move in this corrective cycle within four in blue and is headed for five in blue? And this is why we have two strategies. If one's requirements is not met, then chances, there's a very high probability that the other strategies requirements will be met. And we use one of the two strategies whenever one of the two strategies are, are requirements are met. Sometimes both are met, both strategies requirements are met at the same time. But in this instance, in this specific instance, one strategy that we buy here, the requirements was not met. The requirement that this move should reach that level was not met and therefore we can't buy using this specific strategy. But now we have to use another strategy to enter long uh, to take advantage of the move that we anticipate in the blue uh, fifth wave or wave five in the blue or the primary degree, right? And this is why we have the two strategies. It's part of, part of the reason why we have the two strategies which work uh, most of the time hand in hand with each other. And when one fails, we use another one. When one fails, we then use another one. And if one is interested in learning these strategies and a whole lot more that there is to trading, uh, you can take advantage of the upcoming sale, uh, the November Black Friday sale that which is coming up and become part of the family. Okay. So all in all, we're looking upside on the DXY, which means downside on the Euro US dollar um, in line with correlation. And if you want to learn all about that, once again, you can take advantage of the special that's coming up, the Black Friday special that's coming up. All right. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and it's of some benefits to you. Cheers.